Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Tweet Talks, another Monday welcome, night. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, I love those pants on you. You do? I really do love that. Shut you shouldn't go out of the house like that. I shouldn't? Oh my goodness. Nope. I have on <clears> leggings, <throat> you guys. They're um bell-bottom leggings. I'm not going to stand up to show myself off because, you know, I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> but, um, shout out to... The legging store uh -huh. in the Galleria Mall. Oh, is like, that where you got those? Yeah, and feel feel them, feel them. Not a show to do. So so good. So so good. Um, I don't so know what's good. going on with me. Yeah. Um. Hey guys, welcome to the Shizo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see two people there. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> tonight, um, tonight we have an amazing show. Okay, so the gentleman we had on doing we had season on one, yeah, and his one. lovely wife just connected mm -hmm. with us. You know, when we had him on the show, Christopher Williams, Christopher and Sabrina Williams. We will have them on shortly, you guys. We're gonna have some fun though in our host chat today, right? Are we? We are. We're gonna wait a couple minutes. We always have some fun. Um, I'm thirsty. Let me see. Did you send Sabrina the link from Tweet Talks or from Pedro Tweet? From Pedro Tweet. Yeah, but I could I could send it to to then um yes on Tweet Talk. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. We could do that. So oh. how was your day today? You had a no. um I had a really Okay. Um, physically, it was good. Mentally and emotionally, I was not ready to go back to working regularly. Okay. I definitely, I was saying to Layla, I was like, I need another week. I need another week off. The gym was closed all last week for recreation mm -hmm. classes. And we were, we enjoyed it. I mean, yeah. we still had sort of... Um, a modified schedule a modified schedule yeah we had a modified schedule well, but um not having to go in um every day mm -hmm. especially the saturday the saturday class is hard for me now like i'm a whatever person a morning afternoon whatever mm -hmm. night person i am whatever but um so i get up on saturday and i'm still there early but i would much prefer are you talking about the gymnastic class or your drama class Gymnastics. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, because that's early. Drama mm -hmm. is not until like twelve fifty. So that's mm -hmm. like, but um, you know, kind of want to stay snuggled in the bed, you know. Snuggle. But uh, but alas, we have to, you know, we have to work. Snuggled in the bed. Snuggled in the bed. Hey, Daryl. Hey, Daryl. How are you? Welcome. Say hello if you're watching. I see that it's a few people watching. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So here's what we did yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I had this idea. You certainly did. I had this idea because I was on Facebook and I was like, oh, look at everyone's beautiful Easter photos. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? Let's do a <clears throat> segment tomorrow and let's just share everyone's Easter photos. So I was messaging. I messaged a lot of people. I oh, messaged a lot okay. of people and I, you know, asked permission to use Easter photos in, in tonight's show. Okay, so. so they send it to you. Oh, so you asked them first. Of I course. Thought, I thought you just... Um, just stole it from no, them? No, no, no. We don't do that. We don't steal. For shame. We don't steal. Um, we borrow. 
Uh -huh. So that is the Rodriguez family. That is Jackie. The two kids we have in gymnastics. Mm -hmm. um, and they are just a joy. Yeah. Right. And so wonderful. Yeah, they've been in gymnastics for years. Seems they were tiny then. They couldn't walk yet. Mm -hmm. well, I was naming everyone in the picture. Oh, that okay. was sorry, Jackie, Oscar, that's Benicio, and then Ariana. Yeah. Okay, so you guys remember in season one, if you guys have been with us for a while, yeah. um, I that was season one or two. In, in one of our previous seasons, <laughs> Pastor Ryan Tinsley joined us, and that's his lovely wife, Nikita. Mm -hmm. And this is either before or after their Easter service yesterday. That is a cousin from South Carolina. Love that. And then there's another one of my cousins that is also, no, in the yellow, Resurrection 10. Right there, Connie Sue. Mm -hmm. Love that. From North Carolina, right? Yeah. I mean, look at look at the background, of course. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Ivy um allowed us to share this adorable photo. Look how adorable. Hmm. And I wonder, I wonder whose dog that is. Like, was there just a random dog at the mall? <laughs> that probably the dog. Okay, so this is um, Marcus Taylor. Yeah, and his lovely wife. And his lovely wife. He, he was on our show. Yeah, I'm feeling the Back to the He's, Future coat. Love that. Mm -hmm. He's done quite a few movies. Look, look him up on IMDb. He was in um, Cap, what do you call He He played Chuck Knight. Oh, straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look at this guy right here. That's my baby. That's my nephew, Jose, and he will literally jump off of anything. <laughs> it's crazy. We gave him his first gymnastic class last time. Yes. Okay. So Tashana, these are Tashana's girls. Mm -hmm. We had two of them we didn't have the youngs we had two of them in gymnastics mm -hmm. it's like six degrees of separation we had all, all three, three of those them. girls in gymnastics yes mia liliana uh, mia liliana and oh gosh why is the other mm -hmm. name escaping me i'm sorry guys we're just going to show the pictures because so many <laughs> names it's just like falling out of my head so this is the linton family Cute. Oh, look at the baby. This is Nikki, uh, uh, Rena Reavers, Nikki Zedek, Nikki <laughs> Zedek, uh, okay. and her three children, Nikki and I graduated together. All right. Coach Alicia, she's okay. one of the coaches from our gym and her family. One of my former gymnasts. Yes, and okay. Emma, we have Emma in the program. All right. She's so funny. Okay, so hey, here we are. Okay. So is that everyone? Hmm? We showed all the pictures? Yes, we did. We went real quick through. I don't think we did. We didn't get to Heather so Benson. Really? We did not. Wow. I told people to I watch, thought... so you better go through all those pictures, Mr. Tweed. <laughs> well. Um Ooh, I sent him all the pictures, you guys. I promise. He's in there someplace. I'll get it later. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so listen, so last time that we talked with Chris, mm -hmm. and now we have become friendly with um, Sabrina as well, she actually gave us some people to to be on the show. And last mm -hmm. time we talked to Chris, I think we asked him a couple of questions, then we let him go. Because, you know, a writer's mind is <laughs> just always going. And now I saw on his um, Facebook that um, he's a screenwriter. Well, yeah, that's why we had many, him on the show. Right. So so he, he, he was an award-winning award 
screenwriter for the orbit seems like it was just yesterday but it was quite a while ago mm -hmm. and so you know and show that he has a lot of interesting things they both should have a lot of interesting yeah things to say. he has three projects right now that mm -hmm. are currently that are currently in the works um jade mountain the counselor and wendigo canyon i i wonder what it's like to like have a conversation with him on a daily basis so i'm wondering like how that feels for sabrina like like where are these ideas coming from <laughs> so you know quite quite an interesting subject um and i just fell in love with sabrina just from her facebook posts and mm -hmm. just her support and their love and connection i think it's so wonderful i love couples that are in love and support each other. That's right. Mm -hmm. We we had a lot of fun with them before on Facebook. Yeah, Daryl. Uh, Daryl said he think he's remember rem remember him. Daryl, you are definitely gonna remember Chris when he comes on. You will definitely okay. remember him. So let's bring them on. You know, I'm still I'm still a little thirsty. Okay. So introducing, honey. You guys, we are welcoming back to the show, Chris. Williams and his lovely wife Sabrina, who is coming on our show for the first time. Uh, welcome him to Tweet Talks. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Greetings from the Washingtons. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. That is awesome. It's awesome to have you on the show. Mm -hmm. Again. Well, thank you. We appreciate it greatly. We do. We love you guys. I watch you guys every Monday. I'm here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. The feeling that's is cool. quite mutual. The feeling Aww. is quite mutual. We can feel the love. Yeah, we, we definitely do. And we want to thank you for some of the guests that you sang over all the way. Mm -hmm. You know, they were interesting yes. guests. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't get to get the comedian on because he was... Um, we're going to circle public. back to Tank, but yeah. we definitely, we're definitely good to go. So we definitely just got to have him on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys are going to love him. He is super funny. Oh, my goodness. His crowds went from like 20 people to now he's at like 50, 60 people just to come and see him. He's really fun. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. That's good. How you guys been? Good, good. Um, I actually got an offer for some options. Mm -hmm. As far as the scripts go, yeah. <laughs> and, and I got an offer for an agent. Okay. Right, right, right. Right, and um, he's supposed to be sending the final paperwork, but uh, I, I actually wrote some more scripts since mm -hmm. then, and, and it has been a couple of years, I guess. Look at how long my hair is now. A couple yeah, of years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's awesome. Did you say your hair was longer? No, his hair was shorter then. Yeah. Okay. Now, now it's longer. Yeah. Okay. Because my, my hair got shorter. <laughs> But it looks good though, man. It looks good. <laughs> yeah, well, I decided to go the other way. You know, people grow their hair this way. I decided to grow it this way. When I started growing it this way, it started disappearing over here. It was the weight. The weight was pulling it down. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, I have a reverse um, homo. Um, what do you call it? Mohawk? Yeah, a reverse one. <laughs> I didn't want to be like everybody else. Uh, oh, okay. You see, everybody yeah. has their hair here. I just decided to go the other way. <laughs> So you got a hot mode. Okay. I always okay. chuckle. I always chuckle though when I look at you, um, Pedro, because then I look at Chris and sometimes I feel like you two look so much alike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's my cousin. That's <laughs> you know, but you know what? You seem to be looking, you're getting younger looking, man. I'm mean, what's the secret? The secret is I do Tai Chi and Qigong every morning. Mm. I have tea every morning too, and I don't. Ah. I'm, not, I'm getting older, and I'm feeling it, man. <laughs> now, actually, I saw a picture of you doing some gung fu in the '70s in New York. Oh, and I remember you, man. Oh, my father, my father wow. was a teacher at the Langston Hughes Library in New York. In 1968 and 69, that's how far back he went. And he was teaching Ishimuru and oh. right across the street from where the Black Panther Party headquarters was. Uh -huh. but, but there was some Kung Fu tournaments and you look like the dude that was performing um, from like this Black Dragon type style. 
And I was like, well, I know I know that picture from somewhere. Where did I see that picture from? Wow. Well, I think I think I might have met you back in like 75, 76, or something like that. It's prob that's probably true because there's, there was a lot of <laughs> that's um, probably true. I, I know there was a picture of 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 me when I was fighting, and there were posters all over the place. And when I fought at Savoy Manor. And they, it was big advertisement called Fool Against Karate, you know. And so, mm -hmm. so my picture has been in a lot of places. People tell me that, you know. Oh my God. So, 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 so Fu thing. Oh, this one over here? Yeah. That karate versus Kung Fu. My father was there. My father was there. My father and my two uncles were there. This is them. Wow. This is blowing my mind. That is awesome. <laughs> This is blowing my mind. That is right awesome. Now. He was the referee. Oh, really? Yes, he <laughs> was the referee. You probably have pictures of Pedro in your house. Yeah. <laughs> probably. I, I, in my family house <laughs> somewhere. We took yeah, right, a right. Time. <laughs> I don't doubt that. When when I used to perform at, at the hotels, people used to take pictures of me all the time. And and you know, I saw a picture of you, and it was just people I didn't know. They, it's not picture. Yeah, that's crazy. My my father and, and those two guys, we went out there in like 75, 76, and we were on the side, on the shoulder of the freeway before you get to LaGuardia Airport. Mm -hmm. And we were practicing it. We had on uniforms and everything. I was, uh -huh. I, I was like six. And the cops showed up. And mm -hmm. they said, hey, um, we don't want any trouble, especially with you guys. We just want you to move because we got traffic backed up for nine miles. We had to drive on the shoulder just to get here to tell you <laughs> you need to back up and go because everybody back there was honking their horns. Hey, fight, fight, fight. You know, so. <laughs> oh, my gosh. New York in the 70s. Yes. Just the random people yeah. coming food. Some great times out. we had back then. Great times. Yeah, yeah. So, my, um, go ahead. Yeah, my uh, uncle, he was he was chased by the cops. And he pulled out his new. He's dead. And he's deceased now. But he pulled out the cops, uh, the noon chuckle, and whipped up on the cops. The next month, they made noon chuckle illegal in New York. That was 1974. Yeah, causing trouble in them Which, in them streets. <laughs> and now now they legal again. Somebody fought it, and they came back. You know, they, right? Because they, the the rule against concealed weapon is they don't really determine what weapon it is right so, so for so, self-defense you should be able to uh-huh yeah. so one one of the reasons why they it wasn't because of the people that knew how to use it it was because of the people that didn't know how to use it and they were knocking themselves out <laughs> so, so it became dangerous to them <laughs> also they don't make any noise right they don't make any noise and then well fingerprints maybe <laughs> Well, you, can't you, remember, really you remember back then they were all made out of wood. There was no like right. polymers and all that kind of weird stuff. So they were all made out of wood. You get fingerprints off wood pretty easy. Right, mm -hmm. right. I I actually used to carry that, uh, them with me at all time. And then when they became illegal, it, I used to perform at the hotel with them, and they took me in. <laughs> they took me and. Uh, and they said you can't have this, and and then the owner of the hotel went to the to the um, prison to the jail where, where they had me. They didn't in, incarcerate me; they just had me there. And he said, "If you are arresting, I'm going to sue you." <laughs> because they, <laughs> yeah, because they came into the grounds, and that was a pri private ground. Yeah. So they, so you you were allowed to have it in your house you just weren't allowed to have it outside but right. anyway that's coming out in your book is um one of the people that wrote a book about the Catskill is that story is there but i want to talk about you my cousin <laughs> <laughs> my cousin i just gotta say really quickly i noticed old twitchy twatchy twank Tank is up in here i, I see that <laughs> i see that Come me uh Tank, what's up? Tank, we were just what's talking up? about we you. We were just talking about you. Yeah. We're just talking about you. So we we will be in touch, my friend, to have you on the show. My cousin Derek is on the show. What's up, viewing? Anne Marie, Fountain of Views. And she said that was in 
said spot. that was in Queens. Is she from Queens? Who's that? Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Anne Marie, are you from Queens? She was the. Uh, what was she? She's, she lives local to the Hudson Valley here in New York now, but she might be. You know what? She was a police officer for many years. She might be from Queens. Wow. Anne Marie, yes, she is. Yes. Yes. She is from wow. Queens. Oh. Yep. Wow, look at that. Yep. What a small work. Wow. Hedora. Uh, Hedora is represented. Yeah, yes, by LaGuardia. LOL. I know you. Oh my God. <laughs> what is going on oh. tonight? <laughs> it's like six degrees of separation today. Who else is on that knows Chris or Sabrina? I was, I, was a, I, was a, I was a cop too. I don't know if that's, that's what why that's why she said she knows you. Oh wow. Wow. So this show, we haven't even talked about what we're going to talk about, and this show is turning out to be pretty good already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so we're going to start. So let's go to Sabrina first. Oh, oh so okay. First time on the show. Sabrina, tell us, tell us what you do, and I want you to tell us how you guys met also. We love to hear stories like that. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Right. So I do a couple of things like right now I work for a company called Cornerstone Caregiving um, mm -hmm. and we serve the senior community and I call it serving because that's really what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, we're taking care of the seniors who need service and maybe they don't want to go stay in assisted a living facility. It gives them the dignity to stay at home. So I help my director manage that. And then on my free time, I support him. I, I've done from script reading to line producer to oh. associate producer <laughs> to keeping people at bay. Um, and then also in my free time, I help um, Harrison Clay do a little bit of social media and I do a little bit for um, Tank as well. I'm trying to get him out here. Um, him and clay out here to arizona to the tempe improv and the nash so that they can both perform out there so i'm kind of trying to help them do that so that's kind of what i do in my in my free time that i love supporting my husband. Yeah, yeah yeah i feel you girl i feel um, you. just so you know um miss Anne marie <gasps> just said i was 10 when you when you were on the side of the road that's <laughs> creepy. that's <laughs> creepy. I don't know what's going on tonight. <laughs> right? Wow. She I'm loving crazy. this. I'm loving this. This is crazy. Synchronicity, I tell you, that's what all the meditation oh. I've been doing is about. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Harrison, Harrison is watching. Harrison, what's up? What's he, up? He, he has that velvet smoothie um, voice. You know what I feel like we should do that Sabrina just put an idea in my I'm always just thinking of ideas. So she just put an idea in my We should. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Synchronicity <laughs> alarm? No, that is probably, it's probably cooking. It's just been temperamental. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was her candle. candle. She had a candle burning in her room. <laughs> Wow. Ah. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay. So back to what I was saying to before, um, to do some sort of live stream tweet talks where, you know, we just have, you know, singers come on and sing and comedians come on and comedic and, you yes. know, a poem, a spoken word artist. Come on. Y'all yes. got to answer that. What's about to blow up? You guys are about to blow up. Hey, my job. Yeah. Yes. My job. Yes. We do have a lot on our plate. It's been fun. It's, you guys know, it's a long journey being in film. Some people think that it just happens overnight and you just magically get that one. It doesn't work like that. It takes a long time. Like I've watched you and completely supported what you've done. I tell all my friends, man, you want to buy some good stuff? Go check out Crystal. She's got good deals. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. yep. I, 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 yeah. Sharing the post. You guys, you guys like, need some. You guys need some Tweed Talks T-shirts. Oh, we we making them. We're gonna make new ones. And and coffee cups. Yes. You guys don't have one of our cups. Oh, oh you already got cup? We got it. Yes. Oh, I love okay. it. Yes. Okay. Send, send send me your address. 
Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. I will do that. I love that. That's this super is my cool. back in the days cup. When he was Ooh, doing my oh, see, look oh, at, look at that. <laughs> see, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I don't know though if you had a show with with us clay and tank on it i don't know if y'all can handle that with the three with all of us on there oh listen we had a show that were like 15 people on wow. <laughs> there were people yeah waiting. we had people coming in and out right mm -hmm. um, um it, it was fun but that was the end of the year show we, that was uh, the end of season one and we had an end of the year we were talking about all Bush those right performers from the borscht belt that used to come up to upstate new york and, and mm -hmm. new york and perform and it was such an awesome show mm -hmm. they not as crazy <laughs> they, what did he say <laughs> he said you guys are not as crazy as us i think <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so listen i'm going to show some some photos and yeah, you talk me through that yeah yeah let's do that um well, we know who that is. Oh, yes. So cute. Oh, thank you. I do clean up pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one here. Oh. Okay. What that is, is the movie poster for Jade Mountain mm -hmm. was being mm -hmm. taken. And the back is all green screen because there'll be uh, different stuff in, uh, behind them. But that's um, Elora Tran, and she is the she's playing the role of Chen Zhao, mm -hmm. and Layla Hoff is playing the role of her mom. Wow! Awesome. And we got Gar uh, that's Toby Struthers. He's the cinematographer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we actually got the Rising Star stunt team to to help us out of new mexico they're out of new mexico yeah. those guys are phenomenal all kung fu stylists all bad at what they do and uh -huh. one of your guys um kevin chambers is now up in new york where you guys are doing the lego show oh that's what? that's close to us at legoland yes that's right up the that's road from right up the road kevin chambers is the one doing that stuff up there right now but he's gonna be he'll play He'll be playing one of the monks in my in oh. series. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he is focused. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> so that's us at Bitfire. That gentleman next to Chris is our music composer. His name is Chris York, hence the name C2 Films. Okay. Um, and so we were doing a walkthrough at Bitfire because that's where we believe would be the best place for us to actually film uh jade mountain our mm -hmm. pilot and that's yep. that's run by bob sullivan they also do the hs um hbcu go the mm -hmm. sports station those guys do that too so um they're, they're on it they're, they're really on it so if you guys are just joining us we are discussing jade mountain which is in pre-production correct yes right yeah right. wonderful that, that has the casting so done um <laughs> and and the horror film, Wendigo Canyon. Mm -hmm. And Wendigo Canyon is about the Marines. Is that, is it up there? No, I don't think Wow, I didn't even have it written when that uh -uh. when that came wow. out. Oh, no, it's actually okay. called Manitou Canyon on the bottom. Oh, okay. But so I changed the name uh, of Wendigo to the name. Okay. Area. <laughs> it's it's why. Wendigo. So, um, yeah, I got... Uh, a bunch of Marines and some sailors and those guys are trying to get through this canyon that's not on their map and they got to make it out of there. So that's wow. that's what happens. And they have these uh, cannibalistic mob that's on them and they they got to fight. And because of budget cuts, you're going to love this because of budget cuts, they don't have any guns. They only have knives. <laughs> Because of, but is that supposed to be like a comedy twist to it? Well, well, it's a, it's a crappy political <laughs> twist, but because of budget cuts, they don't have any rifles, so they use knives. And and Pedro will love this. I actually showcased the Marine Corps martial art. Okay. So it actually becomes somewhat of a martial arts film because uh, okay. McMap is in, there and they actually show you the basics, and then they go out and, and fight at the end with, with with that system. So you actually get to see it armed and unarmed. And no oh. other film has ever brought McMap to, to the masses. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Santeria. Oh, you're definitely from Brooklyn. 
A screenplay from the mind of Christopher James. <laughs> I had to take those off because it made it, it made it sound like I was needing like therapy and stuff. You know how you know from the mind, something from, from the mind. The, mind yeah. the twisted mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you expect me to say, Well, hello, Clarice. You know, when yeah. I, oh, I oh, oh. <laughs> But you know, I think they all say that, right? Yeah. Klaus Witch Killer. That's that, our big one. Yeah, that's yeah. our that's the one ten, you were talking about in the first. Yes, episode. that's our mm -hmm. ten-piece franchise. That I think it's eleven now. Right. Our eleven-piece franchise that right. we're and, looking. And he he was told that he created his own genre. And I'll let him explain. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A writer, a, a writer I respect greatly. His name is Phil Hollins. He actually told me, oh. "Man, you created." Your own genre is the Christmas hero genre. They, they, they don't have anything like that. And because there's nine stories on all these people. And Zuarte Piet, who was actually, if you look in the in the history, in 280 AD, he was the companion to Nicholas, the monk that wound up being Saint Nicholas from the, the area that was Turkey. He was a Moor. And oh. nobody ever talks about it. And he was a oh. chimney sweep. I think you did you, touch you did on that. You yeah. did touch on that. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I opened up his whole history and wrote a whole nother movie called What They Piet, Master Sailor. And it shows from him being a little kid, Abdul Ibn Jamal, to where he lost his freedom, lost everything, and then he becomes a hero. And then he goes through a time loop and he meets Klaus and the whole thing jumps off from there. And, you know, those... There's now there's nine stories. I'm trying to get it out to twelve, like the twelve days of Christmas. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's a story. And um, just so you know, the the movie poster that you had up a minute ago with the three guys. The Klaus. Yeah. That one. Uh, yeah. That one? yeah. Nick, the guy that we did the artistic rendition of on the far right is Nathan Jones. Hmm. Nathan Jones played in um. The new Mad Max movie, The Fast and the Furious. Mm -hmm. He was Rictus Erectus. Oh, no, oh. we have to look for that. And he got to look at the script and he fell in love with it. And he said he wants the part of the abominable snowman when it gets yeah, to I, love I, was, that. I was so happy. So wow. I'm trying to get the thing greenlit and all of that so he could do his thing. But he's, and he said he can be an attachment and all of that. But um, that's, that's, actually somebody need to call michael jai white that's what somebody needs to do but <laughs> but <laughs> somebody need to call him because he could play the part as what they pee at but absolutely uh, we're I, I, I know i'm throwing it out there i'm throwing okay, it out there. okay okay Let, let's talk later well, after this to talk okay, to yeah. might talk to him and i remember him from tournaments back in back in the day too yeah that's crazy yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we, you know. Let's, let's see if we can make that happen. We might be able to do a few things, you know. Look at that. <laughs> That's the one you were talking about before. These are the yeah. Marines with the knives. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I, I, I took some advice from a, 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 a writer and a director, Ed Bullard, and he said, you know, figure out all of what you have and then write a story based on all of what you have. So I know Marines and we have trees and grass out here so i figured i would write a story based on that and then i thought well how much is it going to cost to get all these guns and i said to myself because of the budget cuts of the writer there won't be any guns so <laughs> <laughs> so i changed it and made it a government thing so mm -hmm. that you know, people can be mad at the government don't be mad at me it was, it was no wow. gun so nice. that's how i wrote very it. nice uh, okay, so tell okay. us about the counselor. Okay, the counselor, Pedro, I love this too. I also put another martial art that you would recognize in this movie 52 Blocks. Oh, 52 Blocks. Yeah. That is, but okay. <laughs> yeah, jailhouse Rock, Jailhouse Rock. That, that's in there. And what that story is about is a young man who goes to prison for robbery mm -hmm. and in there he meets his cellmate well he winds up getting brutalized and he winds up in the hiv ward in, in the prison 
and he meets his cellmate, who turns out to be Casca, the Roman soldier who stabbed Jesus at the crucifixion. Hmm. He can't die. I know uh, she's looking at me like, uh oh, oh, how'd you, how'd you draw that parallel? Well, he can't, <laughs> he can't die. Crystal's like, well, that's mine from the mind of Chris Washington. Well, he, he can't die. He tries to hang himself, the branch breaks. He tries to fall on his sword, it turns into flowers. He realizes he can't die. So he hmm. makes it his business to find bad men and turn them into good men. So he lives throughout all this time until he winds up in this prison. It shows he was in a prison, like the prison that the Three Musketeers show, and this young man, the guard, brings him his food. In the next scene, the young man is an old man, and he brings him his food, but this guy hasn't aged a day. Then the old man brings in his food, and he drops dead right there with the door open. Casca just walks out of that prison and goes to another one. So that's how he lives his life, going from, <laughs> going from place to place until he winds up in this prison with this young man. And he teaches him to travel back in time. Mm -hmm. When he goes back in time, the first time he realizes how crappy he was to people and he gets back. Well, the first thing he does, you know how we get, the first thing he does is he tries to do the robbery over and go the other way. That's the first thing he tries to do. Okay. He got caught anyway, wound up in the same place. Okay. <laughs> then, he, then he goes back in time and he realizes how bad a kid he was. And he said, I'm, I'm not worth this chance. So mm -hmm. he goes back and he tries to hang himself. And the, the guy goes, no, 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 no. This is precisely why you have to have this chance. So he teaches him. To, he goes back and he winds up in high school where he meets the younger version of himself. Mm -hmm. And he has to convince him that I'm here for you. And this is, you know, so. And without going into the whole end thing, um, he to prove that he's the future him he goes you remember that vase you broke when we were little he goes well yeah he goes you got that piece of glass in your leg because you never got it out you never told anybody and the older version of him squeezes the glass out of his knee and the younger version goes whoa now i don't have it anymore he goes of course not because i got rid of it now you now you understand and he goes yeah so what happens and he goes we got to fix you or we're gonna die of mm -hmm. age and he goes, wow, did I get into drugs? He goes, no. He goes, oh, okay, we got to fix this. So he goes back and he fixes himself. Falls in love, has his high school sweetheart, and does all that stuff. And then, yeah, like that, like that. <laughs> and, then, and then they go back and time goes on. And he's just about to get out of high school. And his buddy from the robbery comes back and wants him to do a job. They say He says, no, they start fighting, they rough the kid up. And then the older him comes down the street and they just go with the 52 blocks and they rough up everybody. A shot rings out and he goes and the older guy falls and he goes, come on, man, I got to save you. He says, listen, you already did. Just get out of here. He grows older and he winds up in the hospital when he's older and he sees the orderly and the orderly looks familiar. It's Casca. And he goes, hey. You did pretty. You did a pretty good job with your life. And he goes, but I got shot. Look, it's right here. He goes, no, you never got shot. Remember, you fixed yourself. Blah 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 blah. He goes, now it's just one more trip you got to take with me. And when he holds his hand, he walks out of the room. And when he walks out of the room, he looks back in the room, and his heart monitor flatlines, and he's laying there. And they walk down the dark hallway. At the end, his widow gives a beautiful eulogy. And she says, thanks, counselor, for the second chance you gave me. And I would have never been right without you. And they, they released two doves in the air. One dove flies off. The other dove flies over a prison where a new young man walks in. And he opened up the cell in his casket. And it ends. Wow. It made me cry. Sabrina, did you know the story? I, yes, that's why. Because I get emotional. I'm over here trying to control myself. I, because I, I get that. emotional, especially with this one, because this is the biggest tearjerker he's ever written. And it just wow. really catches me every single time. It, it, it's also the first script I ever wrote. Well, yeah, that too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, you, 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 took, you took us on a ride there and yeah. started vis visualizing all kinds of things in my head, you know. And that's what a good storyteller does. For sure, you know? for sure. Oh, my goodness. Listen, um, we have to get those projects done. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. On the marketing, on the marketing side for the counselor, I will tell you, we did create an Indiegogo because mm -hmm. we want to try to film the short ourselves okay. and mm -hmm. put it in a couple of short film festivals, okay. just to kind of see if we know what, <laughs> if we know what we're doing. So we have our cast and everything. We have our budget, um, mm -hmm. but you'll see me post about it. Um, just so that we can get people interested in it. We have great donation packages. They can actually buy a staff member of our group that's filming it. They can, you know, we have some really great donation packages. So we're um, so so make sure you send me the link for that. Okay. So that way when we share the video, the link will be there. And you know, okay. so if our, our viewers feel led to give, please do right. so. If not, share it because you never know someone else may. One. And that's all we're looking and, for, and, like really. And, and I'm going to direct it. This is my first directing yes. thing because wow. I want because I want the story to hit you like it did because I'm telling it to you. If right. I turn it over to somebody, then they're telling it, and you might not get that same. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling. Yeah. Plus, he needs to try his hand at directing. Yeah, for sure. I think you. I think for you should. sure. Yeah. I think you should. So, so Sabrina, my, my second question was, how did you guys meet? Oh. <laughs> oh, we get back there. Oh, so, okay. Back in the day, there you Chris, the where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a base behind you? So, so yes, I, okay. So, back in the day, there was a website called blackplanet.com. Oh, Black Planet. And I went on there. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, hi, I remember you, hi. Um, and so I reached out to him, he reached out to me, he called me one day, I said, hey, what are you doing? And he goes, I'm cooking myself something to eat. And I said, well, how about you cook me something to eat? And so this man showed up with food for me and a dozen roses and we've been together ever since. I'm easy. <laughs> Drove an hour in 10 minutes. He did. In the heat. He did. July. He did. In Arizona. <laughs> with the windows down. <laughs> His AC wasn't even working, Sabrina. Right. And he came all the way to see me. No Freon. <laughs> if I join you. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, yeah. and how long have you guys been married? We've been married. 19 years we've been together we just celebrated our 21st valentine's Love that. yeah wow my soulmate he is mm, yeah i told him if we had met when he was in the military in yuma and we were in our 20s we'd have a basketball team now <laughs> uh, <laughs> harrison harrison clay said chris you on your grown man business right now yeah. Yay. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, Sabrina, I am so done because you dropped the black planet. I'm like, oh my god! And then we see um Tank. He posted a bunch of laughing emojis. Yeah, cause you know he, you know he's laughing. He's like, I knew it, I knew it. Tank know he had a profile on Black Planet. <laughs> I, I am, I am totally lost right now. <laughs> I don't even know what Black Planet. Because you were yours was called Latino Planet, baby. Oh, it oh. was. Yeah. Oh. No, we. we he said. <laughs> See. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank <you>. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah, too well. Harrison, Harrison, don't play yourself. I know you was on Black Planet too. Yeah, don't lie. Don't <laughs> lie. No, you know what though, Harrison is a, is a real star. I played a gig with Harrison. Yes. I played a show with Harrison. I was his bass player. You put Harrison, that oh, what I'm saying is back. Okay. No oh, one is part of the movie. Yeah. I was his bass player. Uh -huh. Harrison, and we were all wearing red and black. He was in his tuxedo, mm -hmm. that get down and everything. That dude had women screaming. Mm -hmm. We went into a Marvin Gaye song, Sexual Healing. I'm up there playing the bass, and this dude had them screaming. Yes. Oh, Clay. People, yeah. they're walking up to him, throwing numbers in his face. People walk up to me, hey, what kind of bass is that? You know, I'm like, okay. 
Oh and my goodness gracious. I, I tell you, yeah, he do have a nice, nice voice. And we, we wanted to get into, uh, last time we had him with somebody else, one of my former students, the drummer, um, oh, Big Thirsty. Big Thirsty, Big Thirsty, yeah. But I want to have um, Harrison by himself uh, in a future show. Yeah. Um, I, I tell, yeah, I like, I like his voice. He's very smooth. We, we have this CD someplace in mm -hmm. there. I, put, I have to listen in my car. Oh. Don't laugh at me for having CD player in my car. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have Sabrina send you. Um, it's a song called "Pleasure" that that Harrison wrote. Oh yeah, we have that. Oh, yeah. they do. Do they have, we version, have the live version? Um, it's well, there's two versions. I actually play four bass parts on this one song, and it's a bunch of different tones and everything, but. He really, he really sang. He he sang his butt off, and he sang about four or five different parts in different ranges. Wow, mm -hmm. he's amazing. Wow. He really is. Yeah, he, he's pretty good. I think yeah. I think I yeah. heard. Like I said, I have his CD. He said only a couple of songs, but I have his CD mm -hmm. in, in the car. Yeah. Listen he he listens to it on his way home when he wants to come home and be romantic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I well, I co-wrote that pleasure song, so hey. you're welcome. Bro. You're welcome. Now you know why I've been around now. Years. I'm good with these, man. I'm good. Listen, with these. You, you, you got to, you got to keep it fresh. You got to keep it fresh. So, um, you know, it's funny because we we like fresh everything, mm -hmm. and we we when we cook, we want fresh food. You know. So when you have a relationship, if you want to cook, you got to keep it fresh. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Look you at know, that we, go, we go to the restaurant and they said, would you like to refresh your drink? Sure. Okay, so we got to do the same thing with um, relationship. A lot of people, you know, just take it for granted and then, uh, how come you left me? Because you weren't paying attention. <laughs> you weren't refreshing the drink. Mm -hmm. That's it. good. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. I'm going it. with that. We I'm should, going with we that. We should write a script called "Refreshing the Drink." <laughs> the drinks. <laughs> the drinks. Refreshing yeah. the drink. Yeah. The drink yeah. with a. D R A N K. That drink. Mm -hmm. Well, we want everybody to go see it, so we'll, we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy drink. Oh, Harrison, look what he said. New song called "Keep It Fresh." There you go. Written by Pedro. Tweed. I love it. <laughs> It's got to have some salsa or some merengue. Some salsa. Ooh, ooh. It's going to be the very the best kung fu game. <laughs> Do it, thanks. <laughs> kung fu smooth, that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> the, smooth, the smooth seafood, that's him. <laughs> um, so, so tell us about the grandkids. Um, It's crazy because we have one grandchild who has a um, a reading, an audition to do coming up. Wow, wonderful. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, the twitchy twitchy. So let me give you a little bit of history. One night we were, I'm sorry, oh. Tate, but I just got to tell them so they know. We were talking yeah, to Tate and Harrison on Facebook and somehow, oh, he was telling us a story about Clay and he made the comment, yeah, he was like twitchy twatchy. And Chris and I just busted up laughing because see, twitchy twatchy can go with anything, right? Ooh, why are you in a twitchy twatchy mood? Ooh, girl, I feel it twitchy twatchy. Mm, yes. Food is so twitchy twatchy. Stop it, right? Uh, okay. So I'm trying to get him to do hashtag twitchy twatchy. There you go. Because he can apply to anything. See, now we have a saying in Queens that covers everything. Come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> that was created by Ed Lover. Mm -hmm. Ed, Ed Lover. Lover. We went to the same school. We both went to August Martin High School. Did you? Yeah, That's and Russell Simmons. Mm -hmm. And Freedom Williams from CNC Music Factory. Wow, love CNC Music Factory. Still playing it. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. That's that 90s dance music right there. That, that's an easy bass, too. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. 
Now you watch all your guests are gonna use Twitchy Twatchy this next week. I guarantee you. Oh yeah. One I way or another, it. they're gonna use that term. Oh, we're gonna use it. We're gonna write that down. <laughs> we're gonna write that down, and when time comes on, we're just gonna say, "What are you Twitchy Twatching about?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I love it. Uh, you guys are going to love Tank. He is hilarious. He will have you laughing through the whole thing, like sides hurting laughing. Oh, that's the hashtag there. My wife put it up there already. Yeah, hashtag, yep. I, I, and actually, I've been um, I've been writing screenplays now for a more diverse group of people. I mm -hmm. just finished a short that I'm going to expand into a feature. It's called My Caregivers about a disabled person. Mm hmm. And because I'm trying to incorporate the disabled into my story so that I can, you know, it's about a narcissistic woman that finds out what real beauty is about when she takes care of a quadriplegic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. And she finds out that he's, he's everything she's actually been looking for. And when she gets distracted, she gets hit by a semi and she winds up in a wheelchair. Hmm. Dang. Oh, you should talk about that. That's that old twitchy twatchy mess right there. <laughs> That's the first twitchy twatchy in use outside the, the, the creator. There you go. Oh. And you heard it live on Tweet Talks. Yeah. Oh um, I mean, we, we, to the song. See? Yes. See? Yes, girl. Okay. On Tweet Talks, twitchy twatchy. <laughs> Listen to the. <laughs> you need to get down. Harrison, let's work on that one then. <laughs> oh boy, this is funny. Um, so so finish telling us about um the audition. The little has a one of your yeah, grand the grandbaby uh -huh. uh, Madeline fifteenth on the fifteenth. Yeah, she has an audition. She has I think two lines to say, oh. and she's already doing her you know her Hollywood yeah. thing. So. You know, oh, yeah. she got the walk down and she's trying to be, you know, she wants to film all the time. Popsy, mm -hmm. can I borrow your phone? I want to film something. And, you know, she's, I got to put this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, that kind of thing. So, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. make sure you guys subscribe to Tweet Talks on YouTube. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> so she's doing that and she's, uh, she actually will take two phones and, use one to play a song and then uh, use the other one to lip sync and mm -hmm. film herself. So it oh looks like she's doing the song. It's really cute. And so, she's done all this on yeah, her own. Yeah. We have not, it's just been from her listening to us talk about film, talking mm -hmm. about you guys. Sometimes when I see you, Chris, I'll be like, oh my God, Chris, check out what Crystal's doing today. So I'll pull up your video and I'm showing him and you know, little Miss Madeline's like, well, what are you doing? And so she wants to be in film. So yeah. We're gonna oh, okay. especially when she found out that Popsy she's is six. actually yeah, she's six. And she found well, out I just, I just found out today, uh, I mean actually yesterday that the last one of the last movies that she's on just came out. Um oh yesterday yeah. was the premiere. F Friday 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 was the premiere. Good Friday was the premiere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the um with what's his name? The Owen guy, Wilson. Owen Wilson, yeah. yeah. Oh, is that the one where he plays the painter from PBS? Yes, yes, she saw that movie. Oh, Crystal! Wow. Congratulations! There you go. Thank you. We're probably going to catch you. And I just realized that it's playing like locally. <gasps> yeah, so it's wow. playing all over, not just in like yeah. I just go there it. in the theater, stand in the front, and when the lights come on, just turn around and go ha. <laughs> it works for everything. I told you, you Hank, I told you. There you, go. There you, and you, go. you know what's funny is that that um we did that before. When did we do that? We we yelled twitchy twatchy? No, no, we we um there there was a movie and you know and she was on that movie and they cut my part out. I don't know why she probably better looking than me. Um, but um, <laughs> when, when we got up and the movie was over, I said, my goodness. <laughs> Don't do that this time, though. <laughs> Don't do that this time. Now you just get up and go, who you with? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, son. 
Luis said that her belly hurts her now. Belly hurts. <laughs> Yay, that's the whole point. Yeah, that's the idea. Oh my gosh. Um, so I, I, I'm a little verklempt. I'm a little verklempt. I don't know what to say, but you know, I, I am just so impressed with you guys. You guys are such a great team. And, you know, you, you're doing big things because the last time we talked to you, Chris, you know, you were talking about how you just had submitted your screenplays to, you know, the Urban Action and it was getting accolades and things like that. And now you were in pre-production, you're doing Indiegogo's and things are in motion. That is. Well, that is I, have to, I, have to, I have to give it to her because I wasn't writing for the purpose of trying to get into the movies. I, after mm -hmm. I retired from the police department, I just wanted to do something therapeutic. Oh, okay. okay. And so she said, well, write a book. Um, people write books, you know, so I looked at her novels. Of course, I look at the last couple of pages to see how much work I got to do. And I closed that and said, no. <laughs> and, and, and I realized that scripts are one minute per page of dialogue mm -hmm. in action. So I figured I could do that. And it wasn't until my brother said, hey, this guy wants, he, he's a producer. He thinks you can get this on television. And then I thought, oh, okay. Now I see where this is going. Now my granddaughter just told me, Popsy, you got to sell a script for $150 so I could get some makeup. Yeah. <laughs> for her YouTube channel, mind you. <laughs> yeah. It costs a little more than that. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? <Yes. laughs> funny. Out of the mouths of babes, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so funny. Always. Listen, this is... Uh, what are we clicking? Oh, I don't. Did we get through all the, the photos? We want to make sure we got through all the photos. <clears throat> um, I think we did. To which? No, I can't get it out of my head. I can't. Right. right? Get it out of my head. head. Yep. So, okay. So here's what. Oh, no. Did we put that picture of them? This. That one. That one. Come on. There you Please. go. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, son. Come on. Why are you being so twitchy twatchy, Pedro? Pedro? I said one. Pedro. Come on, son. We got it? No, that's a long question. Come on, son. I, I, okay, we, we put some we, more <clears throat> photos in here. What happened before is that I had too many. Yeah. Really that beautiful photo. That was, that was at my Marine Corps reunion. Oh, oh, you guys just went to that, right? Yeah we, yeah, we just came back from there, and I was hoping that maybe Wendigo Canyon could be shot there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, that's an Easter oh. photo. Um, right there. Oh, that's us at the ACEL. Oh, Awards. yeah, the, the Asian um, Excellence Awards. Yep. Oh, I know. I was I was there too. The Asian <laughs> Excellence Awards. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I wrote the speech for the winner. Yes. Oh, you did? Yeah, I wrote the speech for the winner. Mm -hmm. So everybody's looking at me like, why is he in here? You know, and we, <laughs> we walk in this hotel and it was just all Asian people everywhere. Yeah. Asian people everywhere. And they and it's me and her. And of course, she wore slacks to the to the thing. Asians don't wear slacks. Oh, you know, I uh -oh. didn't even know know that. Yeah. Dresses all the way. I didn't know. <laughs> I mean, I was dressed appropriately, but right. I didn't know I, I should have had on a, a little black dress and not little black pants. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, okay. but they understood that because you're not Asian, right? Well, I was the one of two white people that were at this event, mm -hmm. yes. So I'm sure that they made some type of allowance for me. Sure, uh -huh. <laughs> well, sure. she was with the person who won too, so they couldn't very well throw out. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Harrison's got to comment. What's he saying? Oh, I love you guys. I gotta go, but we will talk. Oh, oh for yeah. sure. Awesome. We'll talk oh, to you. I also just wanted to share one last thing with everybody on here. If you're looking for something to help you calm, if you're looking for something to help you with things like anxiety, depression, try calm.com with oh. Tamara Levitt. She's amazing. I have meditated 827 days in a row every day. Wow. It's life changing. Absolutely mm -hmm. life changing. I'm a completely different person. 
So if anybody um, ever needs that kind of stuff, look it up. It's YouTube. She's on YouTube as well. You can look her up. She has a few free ones. My mm -hmm. favorite of hers that's free is Letting Go. It kind mm -hmm. of put life into perspective for me. Um, it's it's guided meditation, but it helps you kind of get into the process, get into the routine, and what does meditation look like for you? I'm really big on mental health and mental wellness. Um, mm. It's really super important. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Same to you, Anne Marie. Well at this time. Yeah. Thank you. Listen, you guys have been such amazing guests. Um, <laughs> Sabrina, just make sure you send me that Indiegogo link, mm -hmm. um, any other links that you want to send me. So that way, when we share this video, all of that information will be there. Uh, listen, we wish you guys the best, many blessings, and I'm somehow, some way, we're gonna we're gonna connect and you know get this thing going. Me in person, you know, we gotta meet Absolutely. in person. Absolutely. Well, you two have a role in Klaus, so. Don't forget that he wrote a role for each one of you in that. I know movie. he sent me. He sent me a private message a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yeah, are, absolutely. Anything are, for anything one, for my cousin. Any one of <laughs> <laughs> you so twitchy, twitchy. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, right? well, man. <laughs> absolutely, Marie will bring him back. Back, bring them back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and Marie's also an actress. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, she was in that real the with you when you played the reporter. Portuguese movie. Oh, Diarios de Intercambios. There you go. Diary of an Exchange Student. Right. Yes. Wow. Right. That was impressive. Yeah. 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 She, the she only, a cop there. The right? only Portuguese yeah. I can speak, but you know. So nice well, to you speak Spanish? Claro que sí. Sí. Oh. That was good. Un piquito. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Donde está el baño? That's <laughs> very important. Está allá. Very, very important. Right? Yeah. That's the first thing you got to learn. I'm you teaching did, my granddaughter. You entiendo, you entiendo español sin hablando despacio. 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 Yes. I know it if you speak slow to me. So yes. he yes. speaks it. And I'm the one that has the Latino heritage, but he's oh, you yeah, I do. I'm half. My father is Spanish and Mexican, and my mother is um, just all white, just Danish and Swedish and all that. All white. All white. All white. All white. Both my parents were black, and I'm the only one in the house that speaks Spanish. Ain't that something? I am. Um... But I learned Spanish in school. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's what, what I, you learn. I say that to everybody, and everyone thinks that I'm Dominican and not Pedro. No, uh, no. I can see. Uh, it's okay. When I was um, giving a lecture at the um, action thing, um, there was a couple of Dominicans there on, that attended my lecture on on Qigong, right? And they wouldn't accept that I was Dominican. Oh, I'm Dominican. You know Dominican. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Emery's laughing. Okay, our lovely guests, we thank you so much for joining yeah. us on Tweet Talks. Let's stay connected. Let's stay in touch. Absolutely. And we hope to meet you guys face to face real, real soon. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Much love to you guys. We love you guys. And we just really feel that connection with you guys and really enjoy this, this blossoming relationship. We've loved you from day one. <laughs> the feeling is quite mutual. <laughs> The feeling is quite. Uh, he, he threw out the tweet. Oh man! <laughs> like, okay. You know okay. we could we could stay with you all night, but I know, know I know. But I gotta go and listen to Harrison, and you know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you better speak some Spanish too, son. Don't be twitchy twitchy right. about it. <laughs> yes, uh, you know. Uh, you know what Harrison Clay music does to me, so. Oh. Uh, Talk to you. I speak. See, I can't even speak right now. <laughs> yeah, and your wife is blushing, so we gonna let y'all go. <laughs> you, you can't see me blushing. Well. <laughs> All right, people. Thank you so much for Very much. Much, talk. Love, much love. Again. Yes. Thank you. Talk. Yes. And we will keep you guys posted about that connection, Chris, that you asked about. 
Okay. okay. Thank right. you. Yeah. I, I started it. to work out with our other people. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and, and when we wind up in New York somehow, you and I got to work out. I got to test my three section staff skills against you. Oh. So, um, okay. Yeah, I get down too. Oh, yeah. Cool. And yeah. two section pull too. Oh, yeah. You know. Daddy's got the moves. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Hey, just so you know, the, the main weapon for the hero in Jay Mountain is Wu Dip Dao, the butterfly swords. It's under my bed right now. Oh, really? I knew it. I knew. Uh, that's funny because that was my father's favorite weapon. That's why I. Nice. I okay. Nice. So your face appreciates my face. I go through that all the time, Crystal. I have weapons all over the house. Like, I'm not even joking. I got a Joe, a bow. Uh, Filipino, a scream of sticks, knife this, knife that, all over the place. Everywhere. Over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just in case unwanted members show up. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. All right, don't make me get my pistol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Ooh. Oh, you got the nice ones. Honey, yeah. don't, don't worry, I won't, I won't mess up the money maker. You know, you know, mommy has to shoot tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not my favorite stuff. <laughs> and on that note, you guys. <laughs> yes. I you see you. Twitchy Twatchy, these two. Twitchy Twatchy. Okay. Twitchy -twatchy. Thank you so much for joining us on Tweet Talk. Welcome. You guys have a Twitchy Twatchy night. <laughs> you as well, baby. Love ya. Love, Love you guys. Bye -bye. We'll see you. Oh, my gosh. That was, that was good. Emery said, greatest Tweet Talk ever. All right. All that right. was fun. That was fun. That was yeah. definitely fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some other um, writers coming mm -hmm. in the near future. <laughs> near future means last week, <laughs> the following week. Yes. And I think we're going to finish write, writers a month, and then we're going to go back into movies. Oh, music. Music? Music. More music. Okay. 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 So with that, we're going to say good night yes and i'm gonna make a song for the ending so when we don't have to say every time we don't have to say love peace and harmony so we're going to make it closing that we have all that thank you for watching we will see you next week see you guys on monday tell you people about this show watch it later please mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun bye, bye. guys